Hey guys, thanks for joining and welcome to this week's episode. So for this week, I'm going to make a ceviche dish. So normally we tend to associate ceviche with fish, but I'm going to use the oyster instead. And I'm going to use a special one, which is the Sydney Rock Oysters. Uh, this is a very creamy uh, oyster that is found in the in coastal areas from south of Queensland all the way to New South Wales and Victoria border. So this is one of the best oysters in the world. And for my ceviche sauce, I am making the mojo sauce. Now I know it's, it may sound a bit complex and kind of cool in a way, but this is actually very easy. So what you'll need is actually some parsley, some coriander, some mandarin oranges, don't forget to take out the seeds, and some lime. And you will need about a pinch of salt to taste. Next, to complement the oysters, I'm going to use some avocado. And I'm using some Hess avocado that's in season. For the dressing, I'm going to use some olive oil, followed by some native Australian finger limes. So I know this is uh, quite unusual for some of you. Uh, this is exactly like the lime, but it's got a, a slightly more bitter taste. But this is really amazing. And I'm also going to use a weed that is edible and found in the coastal areas of Sydney. So it was a bit of an effort trying to uh, go to the coastal areas because I can't find this uh, weed inland. And this is called a wood sorrel. So this edible weed is found along the coastal areas of Sydney and also along New South Wales. And you can also find this in Mexico, Brazil and South Africa. So the reason why it's called Genius Oxalis is because Oxalis means acidic and it may look like a clover but it tastes like a lemon. So this is edible and it's found uh, in many coastal areas in along Sydney. And um, yes, so one of the things I really enjoy is foraging and I really like to always like to learn and like to uh, you know explore different areas in Sydney and find weeds that's edible and that it tastes really unique and really nice. And this one is one of my favorites. So enough talking about all these native Australian ingredients. I cannot wait to get my hands on making this dish. So let's head to the other side of the kitchen and get started. This is my take on the oyster ceviche. You cannot get any more greener than this, but I am so looking forward to having this dish. Uh, I'm loving all the Sydney Rock oysters I have in, the uh, avocado, 
Emojo sauce, olive oil, some salt to taste, the finger limes and the wood sorrel. And this is all the Australian flavors all in one dish. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. And here's me saying goodbye. I see you guys again soon. Take care. Ciao, ciao.